This is 7 News. Tonight, shots fired into a southwest home. It literally shook the whole house. Like, bang! Four teens charged after a police chase through Perth's eastern suburbs. Oh, there's no tires on the vehicle and they're dumping it. Fears a toxic sludge is again threatening Mandra's waterways. And impaled in the head, a construction worker's remarkable recovery. From the studios of Seven Perth, Samantha Jolly. Good evening. Four shots have been fired into a home in our southwest overnight. A number of people were inside the house at the time, including a pregnant woman and young children. The homeowner says someone could have been killed. A woman's been killed after being hit by a bus south of Perth. It happened in Port Kennedy about 11 o'clock this morning near the intersection of Pamploma Boulevard and Warmbra Sound Avenue. Major crash officers spent most of the day examining the bus. The woman's identity is yet to be released. Four teenagers have been charged after a dramatic police chase through Perth's eastern suburbs. Police allege the boys stole the vehicle before committing a number of burglaries. Amelia Bruin reports. A 13-year-old girl has serious injuries and her parents have also been hurt after their vehicle was hit by an alleged stolen vehicle. This photo was taken from inside the family car moments before the Holden Commodore ploughed into them. The teenager is in a serious but stable condition in hospital. A 27-year-old woman has been charged. Police want to speak to the driver of the silver vehicle seen behind the Commodore who may have witnessed the crash. Scientists are warning the man-made channel that was meant to save Mandra's river system from a toxic algae isn't working. Local fishermen say they've seen few signs. The black sludge that nearly put them out of business in the 80s is back, but they're worried more development will herald its return. Chappelle Corby's chances of being granted parole have been given another boost. Seven's Grant Taylor is outside Kerikaban Jail in Bali. A day after being impaled in the head with a steel rod, construction worker Kieran Dodge is awake and talking in hospital. While doctors are hopeful, we warn that some viewers might find some of the pictures confronting. A controversial social media website linked to teen suicides overseas is gaining prominence here in Perth. Cyber experts warn the site is dangerous, with bullies hiding behind anonymous profiles. Still to come on 7 News on the campaign trail... Tony Abbott teams up with Twiggy Forest in the Pilbara. And dozens more killed as violence flares again in Egypt. On 7 News, you're going to meet an amazing little girl. We didn't know if she was going to make it. Ella has been fighting against the odds. We've never actually seen a case like Ella before. Almost a year old, but she has never left hospital. Still here and still fights every day. On 7 News, the incredible story of Perth's baby Ella and her hospital home. Kevin Rudd has declared he can still win the election despite dismal new opinion polls. He's tried to rally the troops with a new online video and pledged half a billion dollars to drive the struggling car industry. And Tony Abbott spent the day in WA visiting marginal Liberal seats in Perth before flying north to the Pilbara, where he's announced a new plan to promote Indigenous employment. Mia Greaves is travelling with the opposition leader's campaign. Violence has once again flared in Egypt, where security forces have clashed with supporters of ousted President Mohamed Morsi. His Muslim Brotherhood party defied authorities to stage a day of rage that's left at least 80 people dead. We warn this report contains some disturbing images. It's time for sport now with Adrian Barrich and the Eagles have made a late change, Barra. Yes, Sam, a star is out, but a veteran plays game 249. That's next as the bombers come crashing down. The Brownlow medalist loses his cool as the Essendon supplement scandal continues to take its toll. And Mick Fanning's title tilt gets the perfect 10 at Chow Poo. Now, Fuel Watch. Perth's petrol prices. Brought to you by Fuel Watch and 7 News.
A bit of rain and cloud around today. More of the same tomorrow, but then the sun will come out. Our maximum this afternoon was 19 degrees at 2.30. It got down to 11.2 early this morning. The current temperature in the city is 14.2 degrees and the wind is south-south-west at 11 kilometres an hour. On the chart, a surface trough extends over the northern Kimberley through to the northwest Pilbara. A ridge of high pressure is developing over central parts of the state and will drift slowly southwards over the next few days. Let's have a look around the state. Sunny in the Kimberley and Pilbara, a few clouds in Carnarvon, 26 at the top, and showers clearing in the southwest. Around the nation tomorrow, sunny and 23 in Sydney, a cold morning for Canberra and an early shower for Brisbane. On the water, winds will be east to southeasterly, below 10 knots before dawn, tending variable by the afternoon. Seas 1 metre swell up to 2.5 metres. Now for tomorrow's forecast, another cloudy day with an early shower or two atop of 19 degrees after we get down to 10 overnight. And looking to the week ahead, a sunny day for Monday and 20 degrees and sunny and 21 degrees for Tuesday and Wednesday. And now it's time for Saturday Lotto. Good luck. And that's all from the 7 News team for now. I'll have updates throughout the evening. I'll see you then.